you became Dr. Ben and Omalu, and I'm wondering, I know there's the accent, mm -hmm. but what was it about, what did you have to take on about him to become him? How did they capture that? What did you have to do to become him? Well, that, that's also, that's part of the benefit of being able to spend time with the actual person, because I just watched how he walked and how he used his hands, and you know, there's, there's the certain mannerisms. Uh, but, but my hair and makeup really hooked me up. We did a thing where my ears were glued back. I right? was wondering that. Yeah. <laughs> so we had the prosthetics on that glued my ears back. So that, you know, these ears are distinctly Will Smith. <laughs> these are Will Smith's ears. <laughs> so in that adjustment, and I had a small uh, uh, hairline adjustment on the front that changed the shape of my hairline to match Bennett, so. That yeah. is amazing. You know, there was an interesting article that came out on Monday that Bennett wrote an article called Don't Let Kids Play Football, yeah. the op-ed, which was amazing to me. And I was thinking to you, as a father, sports are so important yeah. to kids. Yeah. And you have this balance of what they do for kids. And hypothetically speaking, let's say your son came to you a couple years ago and said, Dad, I want to play football. Yeah. Knowing what you know now, would you want him, play, want you him know, to play? And that that is uh, such a difficult uh question, and I'm so glad that I only have to answer that hypothetically. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's not black and white, and that's the real difficulty. Um, it's so much fun, and the bonding, and the connection, and all of that. For me, I think it would be about the, the, the truth, which is what the film centers on, which was sort of the center of what Bennett wanted to do. Take the information, Here's the information, and as a family, we'll have to make a decision based on the, the scientific reality, also blended in with the, the emotional uh, aspects of what it brings also. Dude, I saw, I saw an interview clip of you the other day, mm -hmm. and you're talking about politics, which I yeah. thought was interesting to me because there's so much going on right now, and you mentioned, like, they're going to make me get into this political arena at some <laughs> point. I would actually honestly like to see you jump into that, and I'm just wondering, like, I live in D.C. If you could meet with the president and work on one issue that you'd want to work on, what would it be? What would you want to tackle? You know, I, I think I've, I've been thinking about that. Um, after I just spent the last year with, with Dr. Omalu, hmm. and one of the things he said to me in our first meeting that we ultimately used in the film is he said, uh, as a little boy growing up in Nigeria, heaven was here and America was here. Hmm. He said to him it was the place where God sent all of his favorite people. And I got so inspired hearing the immigrant's perspective of what America is and what America is supposed to be. Um, and I'm, I'm not completely certain how I will lend my voice to that conversation, but I'm deeply and profoundly uh, uh, grateful to America. America is the only place that would allow a Will Smith to exist. I can't do what I do anywhere else in the world hmm. but this country. So I want to do whatever I have to do to serve and service the, the highest ideals of what makes this place great.